Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode challenge. We were, I believe, en route to <laughs> put some more fuel in our truck. And we are on aid, um, aid at the island. I've not put my glasses on, this is not going to go well. On aid at the island, uh, we are in the process of delivering... Uh, medium logs to the worker house and the lighthouse. That's going to be our first delivery. The the next delivery um, will be then the the two medium logs going to the farm. But we have to get some fuel in our truck because I don't think. Well, I know. I think I know. <laughs> I don't think it's going to make it um, to the lighthouse. Once we get to the lighthouse. Or the lighthouse drop off. Our big fuel carrier is just around the corner, but we've we've got some questionable terrain to get through with the route that I'm planning to take. So I'd rather top up here than honestly. The, the, I think the reason for me doing it now, rather than actually when we run out or something was to save myself an extra load screen. We top up while we're in <laughs> in this map. We don't have to come back, get the uh, Land Rover load screen, uh, drive back through into Drummond with a load screen, and uh, then, then fill up. It's going to save us two load screens, or save me two load screens anyway. You guys don't get the load screens. Uh, yeah, if, if things go well, we c we could have these we we could have this job done today if it goes well. Let's see how efficient it is. Little diff off. Don't want to break it. So last time out as well, we had the uh, the realization that we still have t <laughs> still have two jobs left in uh, in the dam in Swiftfield Dam. It's the two of the time to challenge ones. Um, one of them we might do a few times, depending on it all depends on fuel. Like I'm mm, I'm not even certain because I haven't done it enough times I'm not certain how much fuel there is lying around throughout Alaska I know there's a bit but I also know that there's some large fuel trailers that are quite quite empty actually they're a little bit of a little bit of a trick they're not full so hmm, yeah fuel fuel is going to continue it's going to be a thing i say for a while I think I think the the map that has the construct um, the, the fuel refinery I think it's called a fuel refinery um, where you construct that and then you can you can get free or from what I, you can get free free fuel from what I gather from information from videos I watched a long time ago so with my memory I could be getting that mixed up but yeah there's there's a place we can go and we can build stuff, <coughs> excuse me, and we can get free fuel. I believe that is a moor, and I believe a moor is the hardest map. It's one of the Russian snow ones, and it's quite a big one. So yeah, but I'd, I'd like to try and possibly tack that quite early. Whether we try and tackle that straight after um, time here, I don't know. I feel like my wheels are misaligned. I feel like I'm getting pulled in a certain direction. Oh, we might be. We've got a little bit of um, suspension damage, so that might be a thing. We'll save the repair work for later. Yeah, I mean, I've got a flat, have I now? But yeah, definitely, definitely feel like I'm getting pulled. 
But as always, thank you very much for those of you that are continuing to come back and in, <laughs> endure, I was going to say enjoy, endure this slog fest of a hard nose. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased I'm back on it. I'm pleased we're getting stuck back into it. I am pleased that we're finally, finally getting close to the end of Michigan. I have restarted SnowRunner. Uh, I've lost count how many times since its release. The amount of time I have spent. I was looking at my time statistics actually on on my console and on here. And I have considering on my on my Xbox I've not I've not um, gotten any further than like completing Alaska and getting into time here. In the amount of times I've reset over there and, and done so much. Played 14 days uh, worth of time. 14 and a half days in total on, on the console. And on here with this series and the stream series and, and what have you. And other little bits. Uh, we've, or I've played like 14 days. Where am, I, where am I going into? I am going into the White Western, and I want it to come. Why is that moving? I want it to come out of a fuel supply. Yes, I should put some in there and then turn the engine off because I don't want to take it through. So yeah, what I'm getting at is I've spent a total of 30, 30, yeah, 30 complete days playing SnowRunner since launch. I got the game about six months after it launched, and I have yet to um, get past the first three, first three bats that I haven't gone past the base game. In thirty, a combined thirty days of gameplay, which is like, I don't know, how many hours is that? Like six hundred? Got to be thirty days, six hundred, seven. Yeah, it's about seven, seven hundred hours, and. I've not completed the first three maps yet. That's how many times I've restarted. That's crazy. In the load screen as well, I quickly grabbed my uh, my second set of glasses, and uh, I can see a bit better now. I don't want to go so slow for we don't need to go so slow here. There we go. We're going to go slow in a minute, but not here, not yet. Now, considering the risks that we've taken previously and how badly they've gone, we're actually going to take a little bit of a risk with this one because I have done it many times. But. Those have always been the famous last words before I tip, roll, lose my cargo, flip a truck. But this is the route I've pretty much always taken with these logs to get them here. And it's down there. So wish us luck. I think sometimes we've got to try and take a little bit of risk. Well, we can get further than this. See, that's mad. That's, that's, that's mad how...
it's not doing what it normally does for me in every other playthrough. But we should be able to get halfway through here before any trouble. All right. Oh, did it again? Didn't have my diff lock on. That'd be why. Okay. Why do I keep forgetting to put my diff lock on? We'll just use the uh, winch for now. Why am I so bad at remembering my diff? It's probably the reason for every single time I've got stuck. Is that I've just forgotten to put my diff lock on. This trailer to hopefully stay there without me as these logs are going around this way. Yeah, this is where we need to try and be efficient things done by the way as always sometimes I do forget until late on and sometimes I do repeat myself thanks to everyone that has come back and continuing to, to follow along the journey I'm not even sure if I even said that already but that's the slog that is Sometimes I record a few of these in a row, sometimes I record them a day or two apart, so <laughs> sometimes it feels like I've always said it today, and it would it will be for an episode that was a few days ago, and yeah. And my poor memory is well documented, so I forget what I say just a few moments before, regularly. Whisk through, mate. Whisk through. I knew it was going to... There we go. Come on. Just pull it. So off to the workers, which is, like I said, I think I probably said before, um, right at the top of the map. But we should pass a fuel trailer, and oh, I just hope there's some fuel left in it. <laughs> I really do hope there's some fuel left in it. And for future, for future regions and future trucks as well, I want to try and remember to keep all the the, the basic and the standard um, tires and, and whatever that I put on. Any any additional stuff that I add on, I want to remember to keep the basics because I'd like to 
be able to strip trucks back down when we change regions so then we'll have in stock all the parts or a lot of the parts that we'll need for some of the new trucks when we get them because obviously the regions give you trucks that are normally suited for the jobs and, and that area I mean you want to big pulls you pull some through obviously but it does offer you vehicles normally that you can then use um, so then if we've got parts in storage so you just keep wasting money on them like I don't need to keep buying the same set of tires for every single truck that I've got I have wasted so much money on tires and probably other things as well but you know a lot of money is wasted on tires oh don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare look how, look how deep that is there Notice I didn't actually do anything about it, I just tell it not to dare, rather than try and winch it. I want to be able to do it quick enough. Right, please, 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 please. Oh, there's, there's a fair bit of fuel in there. That's good. Not a lot. So I told you, I will, I'll, I'll be lucky if I have enough to fill two 1800 litre trailers. I want to be lucky if I've got enough to fill one 1800 litre trailer. So that's just insane. I must, I don't know, I must have a trailer somewhere with some, some bloody fuel in it. There must be. That can't be all the fuel I have. But like 2200 litres. Can't be. this rate I'm gonna I'm gonna need to scout fuel trailer transfer fuel over but we need to keep some trailers because some regions fuel is really expensive and I think here in Michigan it's pretty pretty reasonable so if we do ever have to buy it we want to buy it here not somewhere else I think someone did the math for me in Discord once, and well, they might have been on a comment on a, on an episode where we were talking about it, but they did the math for me, and yeah, it, to fill up in the US and then bring that uh, fuel trailer on your truck through to a different region, especially with time here. I think that was the math that we did. It was like less than half the price of filling the same tank up in time here. It's, it's insane the the difference in in cost. But yeah, I, I need I need to be more. I need more foresight in my deliveries and my routes going forward. Like I said, I'm, my play style isn't one where we grab all the bits and take them through and then leave them in, like for later, if that makes sense. So like no one would be like, oh, we know that in six jobs time we're going to unlock bricks that need to go to X, Y, Z. So while we're on our way there, we'll just take them bricks now. I like to wait until I've actually got the job and unlocked it. And everyone's free to play their own way. I always say that about everything. And my way is certainly not <laughs> the best way, but it's my way of playing. I put a lot of restrictions and restraints on a lot of my gameplay in, in all games in how I do stuff. So until I've taken on that contract, I don't, I don't really like to take some things through. Sometimes, you know, you know, if we've got multiple tasks open and I'm heading somewhere, then, then yeah, we we know we're gonna need it, and 
doing a bit of one job and then a bit of another job, that, that'll be fine. I think we'll have to do more of that. I think I've just tried to solely focus on delivering one job at a time and we've we've traversed the same tracks unnecessarily just because of that, because of my, my limitation, my, my self put upon limitation in play style. I'm sure I'll forget all about that, and I'll go and I'll revert back to this this way that has cost us probably thirty, forty thousand litres of fuel unnecessarily. That's a lot of fuel. I've never tried it yet. One day I'm going to try and come across and go down there to cross, to cross this river. There's obviously a route but it's shallow. We've got the stones and it'll take you up around the back of the uh, the lighthouse house. Well, that's definitely a way, isn't it? But we're not even under load. We shouldn't be getting, getting this stuck. We should still be able to just shoot across here without a load. But we're pulling the same trailer, but because it's on a winch and not attached to us, it's just easier. <laughs> Come on, make it make sense. See how quickly we can get back. Grab two more, two more sets, please. Go, go, go! Time is of the essence. Yeah, we'll just take take the fuel from the trailer at the logging station. We'll not worry about from there.
these empty runs, these bits where I need to be quick. Come on. <laughs> I just want to get this job done. Oh, so close. So close. We can almost smell the snow in Alaska. We can almost taste the snow of Alaska. We'll soon, soon be cursing the snow of Alaska. Easy, buddy, easy. There we go. Naff the tire up, why not? We got a repair kit, haven't we? Yeah, indeed. There we go. Let's use it. Let's not risk it. See, th those are the nice little addition mods I like, where you can, you know, bit of toolbox on. Have some parts there so you can look after your truck. Because you should have. I also think that the, the trucks with the large cabins, since there's only us in there, should have fuel in the cabins. I think you'd have a, maybe a, a, a if you were doing this You'd have a box of parts sitting on that spare seat. On the passenger seat, you'd have some stuff there. Maybe strap some of that roof. Maybe sell some jerry cans somewhere. Around. I don't think that's deep mud here. Ooh, a little bit deeper than I thought. And we won't be trying to drag the fuel trailer back up to the Land Rover because that'll slow us down and use up more fuel because the... Uh, the rest and hitch wheel won't won't come up if we uh, just drag it along. It gets stuck in the mud. Always a chore. Yeah, I don't like all the trailers just left around, but there's no reason to not leave them. If I could get, you know, a thousand dollars for that, or a thousand credits, I'd sell it. If I could get 500 credits, I'd sell it. I mean, it's 150 for every load of wood, so if I, if I could get 100, 300 credits, you know, it'd all be worth it. You just get something for a second hand use trailer. It's never going to come, they're never going to change that. But that's what New Game Plus is for. No. In hindsight, I think I should have probably done this as a, a hard mode New Game Plus, like just with those, those modified settings that I would prefer. But I think, I think doing the uh, the as intended hard mode 
is where the challenge is, obviously. The things I would like to do would be to make it a little bit easier. But, like I said before, I'd, I'd also like to see auto load cost 100 or 150 and oh sorry manual load cost 100 150 or whatever it is based apart to buy the uh, the goods and um, auto load to cost a little bit more maybe two three times as much and that would sort of again and it would negate the the sale of trailers probably but those that do manual everything would have that benefit of a little extra cash. And they wouldn't have trailers littering up their map. Fill up and turn around, and then we'll grab our logs. What a turning circle. I was expecting it to be tighter than that. <laughs> right, let's get going. The the route back is going to be twice as long. So we're going to be under load and we're probably going to be in low gear plus the whole way. I would really have liked as well is uh, as a cruise control just so if you're playing on controller <laughs> you're not just holding your finger in that whole time without any reprieve I was saying that to the my partner the other the other evening when I was playing downstairs on on the console, like on that relaxed that relaxed console play. Where I'm not worried too much. No one's watching other than me and the missus, and sometimes the boys. Um, yeah, I, I, I've gotten quite so I can do things with with one of my hands. So I can have a coffee and scroll my phone on the long journeys. I've gotten quite adept at playing <laughs> one-handed, 
with the controller in my left hand and sometimes in my right hand just flicking the directional stick on my leg to turn so I can no, so I can scroll scroll the social medias or send a text or check the news while we're going on a long one obviously while recording uh, <laughs> and, and, on, and on this side things aren't as relaxed so I don't do that so sometimes the right finger is just pushed in on accelerate for you know, an hour pretty much an hour and I have to quickly grab a grab a grab a sip of drink in the load screens which because I've got my game installed on the well you better not bounce about like that my friend because I've got my game installed on the wrong drive the, the slowest drive um, the load screens do take a take a minute or two sometimes it, it hasn't affected the game performance at all by having it installed on the wrong drive but it's not the drive that I normally put my games on not the games that I play regular and record. If I say I normally put it up, try and put them on my fastest drive, if, if there's space, or on my second fastest drive. I don't know why. I think it was because we had a a reset of something a while back, and when I did put it back on, it was yeah, wrong drive when I installed it. I think the only time we've had issues with performance are uh, evenings when I've recorded uh, my farm sim or something else first, and then I <laughs> I forget to exit that game and then and then launch Snail Runner and we've suddenly had some stutters and I always say, I'm sure there's nothing running in the background. <laughs> and then when I finish the game, there is farm sim is still running or Skyrim is still running or or something. Something's in the background. Or I'd have Giant's editor still up. Which, you know, he uses a lot of juice. Sometimes it's, it's, it's quite amazing how many things you can run and still get good performance. I think I was... Uh, recorded one of the previous episodes and then um, when I finished I'd, I'd gone back in and I, and I still had um, my Chrome tab <laughs> running a video that I'd been watching that was still going, I'd, I'd muted it to do something and obviously forgot about it so we still, had, we still had videos running and processing in the background for that and we didn't get no issues it's always always good because as we all know Chrome can be quite a drain on your resources, especially if you've got a couple of tabs on it. That's why you've always got to have that extra RAM. <laughs> Give yourself as much memory as possible. Don't let anyone ever tell you you've got too much or you don't need that much. Oh, you don't need that much RAM. Yeah, you do. These days, you definitely do. you're getting yourself a new PC or upgrading a PC or anything, I'd say at least oh, 16's plenty, 16 I'd, I'd say 32 minimum at, at quite a high speed as well I'd love to go up to 128 <laughs> Seems excessive, but that's what I'd like.
apologies for some of the, the abrupt quiet bits in this episode. I keep getting coffin fits. Still, still uh, full of all the, all the lurg. And the kids have been back to school. It's such a delight. All parents will know of it. Pushing on, keep pushing on. Not sure how deep or how soft that ground is there, but that looked like that'd be a nice little shortcut to not have to come around all this. Always looking for future direct routes, because you know I know that there will be a time when I will start another save. Because I'll just think, right, I think I can do that more efficient. But for e easily for the first year of playing SnowRunner, I, I was just trying to chase this perfect run, trying to chase the perfect run, and it was just, and that was just in Alaska. So can we get out of Alaska? Never dropping a load, never rolling a truck. Is that possible? Because I, you no, know, I still wasn't at the time. I wasn't comfortable with rolling the trucks and getting stuff being being an actual feature of the gameplay and something that's supposed to happen I just kept, kept feeling like oh I'm failing I'm just not doing it I'm failing and not accepting like this is what's supposed, supposed to happen it took me so long to uh, not necessarily to grasp that but to get comfortable with that failing is okay in this game it's what you, it, you know, it's not what you're supposed to do but it is you know it's a, it's a feature. It's supposed to happen. That is the gameplay loop. So I, I get so far, and I, I honestly, what I'd get so far through Michigan, and then, you know, I'd roll my fleet star, or I'd, I'd roll the western, or um, I like to use the uh, ANKs. Oh, so I'd roll an ANK because I, you know, on other modes you'd have money, or I'd sell the trucks, or I'd, I'd use a lot of the DLC vehicles. And um, yeah, so I just, right, restart, we're going to go again. We can do this without failure. And then, I, like, then what's the point? What am I going to do? Complete complete Michigan without ever getting stuck. Get to Alaska and roll a truck. And what? Well, I'm going to. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Awful tickling the throat. Yeah, what was I going to do? Get to Alaska, and then get halfway through Alaska without making a mistake, roll the truck, and then restart the whole game again? That, that would have been insane, wouldn't it? That would be <laughs> an awesome thing to do. Have a series where you just do the perfect run, but I just, I just don't think it's possible. Even the best players that I've seen, and I watch, I watch a fair bit of snow on a content. The best players I've seen. All roll, all tip on a regular basis. It just happens. It's just a thing. I always mix these up. Um, thank you very much. Let's go. Oh, no messing about. We have, I think, six hours, six, seven hours. We've got about. 15, 18 minutes. To do this. I think, and I think we can, I think I can get this over there in that time. Have this job done. Would be very cool. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get both deliveries, to, or all three deliveries done. Both runs. But it's looking like a possibility. Just have to remember to, to turn the diff lock on when I go down into the river. We'll see if we can get a bit further this time before I detach and stress out. 
because I don't want to detach the trailer before we get down there because we won't have no control of it and it'll just smash into us and roll over. And, you know, at this point, at this stage, I don't even want to say it. I, I, I might cry if we uh, roll the final load. Well, not the final load, I've still got two jobs to do, but, you know, these are the real jobs. Them time challenges, they're extra. As we go along, there's going to be some of them I know I can't do, so, you know, as much as I'd, I'd like to, and hopefully, eventually, we will 100% all the maps. I know there are some jobs along the way that I struggle with. Um, so they may be ones that we come back to with different vehicles. Maybe right at the very end, whenever the end comes along, we'll do a, anything that we don't do successfully while in the map. We'll come back and just do a big <laughs> mop-up run. The difference in actually using the diff lock properly and your gears to just your traction as you need to. There we go. Probably took a third of the time as what it did last time through. In fact, I think we got quick, we got through quicker there with some weight on us than than when we were trying to go back empty. In all honesty. deep that is um, honestly try and tell me that <clears throat> excuse me try and tell me that the terrain resets it certainly hasn't it most certainly hasn't and this is you know this isn't even the same day as the last one and we didn't even we haven't even been down that part of the track and left traders parked up there for Lord knows how many reloads and map changes and what have you. But it is churned up. Let's see the old wind shout, come on. Yeah. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit giddy. I'm right chuffed with myself. For doing the most basic of things. <laughs> I 
I'd be even more excited and more happy if um, if I still didn't have the other two time runs to do. But. This is, you know, pretty much us completing Michigan. The main job. Some people go through and they don't even touch the uh, the time stuff. So, again, everyone plays uh, their own way. That's what I love about these games. You can go through it your own way and do everything in your own order and using whatever machinery and vehicles you want. And the mod choices and everything. Yeah, you can you can boot up SnowRunner and not even come to Michigan. Just come collect your truck and uh, leave and head somewhere else. Head to the Yukon. Head to uh, the Don. Head to wherever. There's a British Columbia and go do the firefighting. I think that's where that is. You don't have to do any of this first. And that is a great feature of any game. So, not quite 170 grand, 170 grand, but that is completed. What level does that? Still at level 21. Or did that put us into level 21? Maybe. But that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. 98%, so then two jobs will be our last little bit. Right, so you can... Yeah, be gone. Don't need you anymore, mate. You are done. I'll think about what I want to do now. We're going to get this through onto uh, the dam. That's what we're going to do right now. Grab some fuel from the big tanker. We'll see what, what the daylight is like. Um, we'll probably jump to the Land Rover. Um, start heading back to get that fuel tanker and then bring that through. Because we'll need that for the fuel to do the other jobs. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, with those those two jobs, those two time jobs, and then um, a very a very small cleanup job. I think it's it's a shame that the trailers are here and at the other end of the swamp because that's you know that's take a while to get to them and get back. But the fuel trailers are about get them. And that's it. That's all I've even got to pick up. I just got to get them. The scout trailer and the uh, the two large fuel trailers. Ooh, excuse me, I do apologise. I just need my hands on my controller so I can't move my mic. Oh, I wonder can I fit all that fuel? <laughs> Depressingly, can I fit all that fuel in there? And then when I come through with the, the Land Rover, I'll scoop up whatever's left, probably. I'm not going to get it all in there, it's like 20,000, weren't there, but... So I'll have some. <laughs> That's all gone in the Land Rover. Right, yo. <laughs> oh, dear. Sad times. <laughs> Let's do a um, little repair as well. 
Wow. This is so beautiful. <laughs> and whatever is. Um... Oh, I think that's in the map, it might tell me, mightn't it? Whatever's in the uh, the other trailer. Oh dear. That is a, a sorry. A sorry state of affairs. At least the clean up episode will be quick. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh lordy. We'll see what we've got in um, stock parts as well with our vehicles. We'll put them all in the garage and we'll um, see what we got. We'll put them in the garage and retain everything, but um, we won't pull anything out in Alaska unless we need it. And I'm hoping we can get a fair bit done to start with with the uh, the load star when we get it. Right. We have got a small fuel trailer here that's empty. Right, yeah. So there's nothing there. That job we've done. Yes, yeah, so it's heavy burden, which is just pulling um, three lots of spare parts from there to here. And I think that's a two slot trailer. Do we have a three? Did I, have I, del oh, I haven't deleted all the trailers, have I? We can probably grab one along the way here. That's a. Two. That's a two. Well, we'll be alright, we'll be alright, we'll be alright. There's no fuel in there, that's empty. That's nothing. That's just spare parts still, which we don't need. That's just a trailer. 16%, so that's not a lot, is it? That was less than a thousand litres in there. I think. Oh, man, I thought we had fuel in that one. No? Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Almost empty. Oh my Jesus! Right, yo. Well, I think in that case, park that up, and we will jump back to um, Landy. So, no messing. Let's get going. We've only got a few minutes. Let's make the most of it. As far up the road as we can. Yeah, I th think we'll be able to fit all that fuel. Let's see. In <laughs> Drummond. That'll fit in our fuel trailer and in our Land Rover. So we'll top up our Land Rover when we get there as well. Um... Yeah, I should imagine it'll be easier for me as well to grab another one of those little scout trailers that are lying around and get the fuel <laughs> out of the other big trailer with that. Because <laughs> we can fill up the um, the, the Kodiak, because that's our fuel trailer, so we can just fill that up, whatever's you know, not in there, we can top up and, and do, really. Oh dear. That's mental. Absolutely. And like I said, we've still got to do the uh, two jobs. So we're going to be using up some of that fuel anyway. This, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry I've wasted so much fuel and so much money. <laughs> oh, dear. One. One trailer's worth of fuel is what we've got. One trailer's worth of fuel. And I haven't yet finished. Oh, I think it's going to get tight in Alaska. Time here is going to get expensive. They're, they're, they're problems for future folk not to worry about. Or future folk, well, sorry, most of wait. Um, but, yeah, they are. They are going to play on my mind.
happens the next few episodes, it's probably going to be a bit weird. I might even just uh, run over time just to make sure I get there today. I don't know. How long we got? Are we in? We ain't got time. I'm not going to run over time. Right. That is it, my friends. This. Oh, look at the state of that. That's it for this one. I am. I'm quite impressed that we got both of those or all three of those drop-offs. Those two two runs completed with how slow we progressed the previous episode. That was quite nice to do. Nice to see. And we are almost done. Two time deliveries. Uh, collecting up our our thimbles worth of fuel. That's all we've got left. Uh, hopefully we can get that all in the next episode. If it if it doesn't all fit in one, I might um, go longer on the recording and then just edit it a bit so to bring it down to the hour to fit with everything else because we don't need a whole episode of me just collecting a thimble of fuel or doing that one one load run. So yeah, the next next episode might be our last last one in. Um, Michigan, which is exciting. That is exciting. It's about bloody time. Anyway, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos go live. If this is your first time coming across my art mode series, please try, attempt to go back to the start and watch how we got here. This journey has been quite something, some ups and downs, some, some big downs, uh, but we, we're getting there. Um, you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.